What's going on everybody? Michael with Craft Beer Drinker here for another Friday video uh, coming at you uh, today. We are going to end out July with another Texas brewery. Uh, we are going to visit Lone Pint Brewery in Magnolia, Texas. And today's craft beer of choice is the Yellow Rose Smash IPA. Take a look at that, that can. Lone Pint Brewery, Magnolia, Texas. So before we get started on the beer and the brewery, just want a, a quick background on the page of what we do on Craft Beer Drinker here. Again, my name is Michael, the host. Uh, I like to create a video each and every week about a different uh, craft beer brewery and craft beer from around the country. Uh, don't pick any favorites per state. Uh, it's just whatever beer I happen to grab for that, that video is the brewery and the beer that we're gonna do. We crack it open. Uh, we do a little talk about the brewery itself, uh, how and when it got started, and uh, then we uh, dive into the beer. Uh, we do a tasting. I give my fair and honest opinion about the flavor and the aromas and the taste of the beer. I take it for what it is. Uh, and yeah, that's what we do here. So if this is the type of video that you enjoy uh, watching or if you're interested in craft beers, uh, check out my page, hit the subscribe button, uh, follow us along each and every week. Again, I, I do put out a video each week. Uh, so for now, let's dive off into this. Um, Yellow Rose Smash IPA from Lone Pine Brewery. So. Before I get started, let's let's open this up. We'll give it a pour, and then I'll talk about uh, the brewery itself. Hope everybody's having a good Friday. I'm glad that Friday's finally showed up here. It is, you know, we're coming to the end of July, and I just looked at the forecast for August, and it's going to be another sweltering month here in Texas. So I hope uh, everybody is trying to stay cool, drinking their favorite craft beer staying out of the heat and uh i know that's what i'm gonna try to do let's talk about lone prime brewery uh established back in 2012 they're based out of magnolia texas and funny enough this started out a brother and sister team got together and they started brewing beer in a two-car garage and have since obviously expanded into a fabulous brewery uh, I've gone on the website, done a little bit of info check on them and stuff just to get all my facts straight and figured I'd share that with you. Uh, but yeah, like I said, it was a brother and sister team. They started out just in their two-car two garage, experimenting the craft beer world, learning how to make craft beer. They fine-tuned it, uh, got together, and now have established a great brewery based in Magnolia, Texas. Uh, they do have a beer garden that is actually open seven days a week. Uh, they're open uh, 3 to 9, Monday through Thursday, Friday 3 to 10, Saturday 12 to 10, and Sunday 12 to 7. Their beer garden is children and pet friendly as long as you keep them on a leash. Obviously just the pets, but you know sometimes these kids get out of hand and you know what you need to do. But regardless, yes, you can enjoy uh, the beer garden with your whole family there. If you're ever in Magnolia, Texas, please take a moment to check these guys out. Uh, their uh, six-pack can holders are compostable for you gardeners, and they're also biodegradable. Um, and they, uh, they do power, from what I can tell, they power their brewery uh, on... Uh, Renew renewable energy. So I'm not quite sure if they're using solar or wind power, but obviously they're they're helping uh, better their footprint uh, here with the energy usage there at the brewery. Um, they also like to give back to the local uh, farmers. 
they the the used um, um, what is it the the used grain that they do in their makeup of their beers they donate to local farmers to feed to their dairy cows so you know they're they're just they're they're giving back to the community obviously uh, turning things over uh, trying to do their part on uh, you know helping helping our planet you know I'm not going to get on the whole uh, tree hugging thing but they're, they're doing their part to, to help the energy crisis uh, within our country so I commend them for that uh, but again uh, hats off to this company they've been around now for 11 years they keep paying out good beers. Uh, I have had one other beer from them before, but I can't recall. It's before I even established the channel. So I am looking forward to the Yellow Rose Smash IPA that we have on tap here. So enough about the brewery. Let's talk about the beer. As you can see, it's got the beautiful hazy golden uh, tone to it there. A little, kind of an orange tint a little bit. Could be the lighting. Um, but this is a Smash IPA, and, and for those that aren't quite familiar with Smash uh, wording, that's single malt, single hop. Uh, so they have a single malt ingredient in this production of this uh, craft beer and a single hop ingredient. And the, the, the breakdown uh, on this particular uh, IPA is the malt is a Pilsner, the hop is Mosaic, and uh, the yeast is a house yeast. Now this does come in at 6.8% uh, uh, alcohol by volume. Um, and some of the, uh, let's see, it said, I pulled this information offline, and, and like I've said before in my past videos, I, I, I go to each of these craft beer, brewery websites just to get info, to get a feel for how they operate, how they came about, their story, what they do for their communities, uh, if they have tap rooms, and in case I always like to put out the, the hours in case you're in town visiting, you can stop by there and check them out yourselves. But uh, things like flavor notes and aromas, uh, I like to get off of their page, not so much to, to put it in my head, but to give me an idea of what they felt they put into their own beer. Everybody's going to have a different taste to a beer, but generally you should kind of meet in the middle, I would say. I mean, uh, as far as flavor notes or, or aroma, you should be picking up uh, grapefruit, pineapple, and blueberry, they state. Uh, it's, it's supposed to have a very clean malt taste to it. Uh, it's hot forward, so let's check it out uh i'm an ipa lover uh but i am trying to broaden my uh palate per se uh to enjoy other craft beers so let's stop talking let's start drinking but uh right right off the bat it's like a a, a grapefruit hit right there i mean you can smell it but it's almost like it's a pineapple grape match i mean literally you can smell the grapefruit and a pineapple combination in there i'm not picking up a blueberry aroma but it could be just because there's a lot of, of fruity tones in the smell That's got a grapefruit taste right up front. Uh, I'm here to tell you, the initial sip, you're going to get hit with grapefruit. If you're not, if you don't like grapefruit juice, you're not going to enjoy this beer. If you're willing to give it a try, I always say give it a try. I mean, that's why I created this page because I'm going to give all craft beers a try. I'm not going to just stick to IPA. But uh, strong grapefruit taste up front. It is mellow.
It's crisp. Very slight maltiness, but not much. Um, it has some uh, hop at the front, but again, to me, and I don't know if it's just because I'm accustomed to IPAs. Maybe it's hard for me to judge how hoppy it is now. Uh, I don't consider this to be over the top. I'll be honest with scary is it's almost like drinking grapefruit juice. Now it's not flat out that sweet like grapefruit juice can be. Uh, but definitely getting the classic IPA taste that you would get. Uh, you, you've got a little bit of hoppiness. You've got the grapefruit taste. It, it's, it's crisp. It's, it's mellow. It's not, it's not overpowering. You know, I, I know I've said that before on some of these IPAs, and again, it, it, it could be because I have drank, you know, a lot of IPAs over the years that I my palate just become accustomed to it. Uh, 6.8 in, in my book is not high. Um, that's, it's, it's a clean, it's a clean taste. Um, <clears throat> I don't consider this a real bitter type of, type of beer. Um, I'm trying to think if I have showcased another Smash IPA on this channel. I think I've done one other one. And before then, I don't, I'm not sure that I've had, um, a smash, uh, single malt, uh, single hop uh, beer in the past. I would have to look on my untapped record. But uh, this is a great beer put out by Lone Pipe Brewery. I, I'm, I'm here to tell you, that's a four, four and a quarter star at least. Um, night, really uh, mellow IPA. It's not going to punch you in the face with any kind of bitterness. At least in my book, it's got a great aroma to it. Definitely can pick up the grapefruit and pineapple that they speak of online. Um, citrus type of uh, uh, aroma. I'm getting the, the pineapple flavor. I mean, sorry, the grapefruit uh, note in the taste. Um, I forgot to look, but I want to say this is a, this is a year round beer put out by Lone Pine. Um, I definitely would, uh, do this one again. This will be another repeat, uh, craft beer in, in my, uh, fridge for sure. Very mellow, very easy. I mean, I, I, I would probably think that this would be a great beer, definitely outside on a hot day again. I know I've said this on a few beers in the past, and it's just that time of year. The beers that I've been choosing have just fit the mold for this time of year uh, just by chance. Um, great, great beer for outside after doing yard work. Uh, it's it's refreshing. It's very mellow, crisp. Again, if you if you enjoy IPAs, you need to add this to your list if you have not already. Uh, you'll really enjoy this. You'll thank me for it. But yeah, that's that's what we're looking at. Lone Pint Brewery, Magnolia, Texas, established twenty twelve. Went on 11 years if they've not already uh, had their anniversary. Today we kicked off Yellow Rose Smash IPA right there. Check that can out. Pretty cool can. Um, if you've had this beer, leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts on it. Uh, let me know what you 
thought of the taste. If you picked up those notes that I mentioned, the grapefruit and the pineapple for sure and the aroma, of what you thought about the taste. Uh, if you've had any other craft beers from Lone Pine Brewery or if you visited the brewery itself, let me know what it was like, what your thoughts were on it. And uh, I enjoyed it. I look forward to finding more of their beers on the shelf. I happened to pick this one up at my uh, local Total Wine. So look forward to, to visiting this brewery again at the tasting table here. But that's all I've got for today. I want to wish everybody a happy Friday, a great start to your weekend. If you enjoy this type of content that we do on Craft Beer Drinker page, please subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, share the video, and leave a comment with your thoughts on the beer that we tried today or any of the other past videos that we've put out. Um, and occasionally we do like to go to some of these breweries if we're in that area. We've already posted two uh, brewery visits on the page, so go check those out. Spindle Tap Brewery and uh, Southern Yankee Brewery. We, we visited both of those, had a great time. So check them out. Um, if you're ever in Magnolia, Texas, please stop by at Lone Pint Brewery. Go check them out. Visit them. They're open seven days a week, so you got ample opportunity to go visit them. And uh, look forward to seeing you back here next weekend. If you do drink, please drink responsibly. And as always, cheers.